I think when you first um, boot up Ninja Trader for the very first time, they may give you some charts and like a, a default uh, workspace. Um, I just closed everything and started with a brand new one. So under workspaces, I just came down here and clicked new and it's just defaulting to like this main little window. Um, this is like the window that you can like close and exit out of Ninja Trader uh, completely. I use it up here if you've seen my trading videos to just show my um, current PL and unrealized PL. So if I'm in a trade, it's going to show you how much I'm currently losing or how much I'm currently winning and then uh, what I'm up or down on the day. Uh, this is just under the accounts tab. There are several other tabs under here. I just closed them all just to keep like a minimalist look because I don't really care about the other ones. I just keep typically I'm just in one trade at a time. So I don't really need to see like my positions that I'm in and all my executions and orders. But to add more, you can just click them and it will just add the tabs. Um, but again, I just keep them closed. Another thing I've done is when you right click on the window on the bottom, you can go to properties and I have my grid font. I've increased it, I think from like 12 pixels. I put it up to bump that up to 24 pixels just so it's easier for you guys to read and see when I'm in a trade. Uh, but you can just change that here. Ninja Trader has a ton of properties that you can mess with. So feel free to look in here and, and see what's going on but back to the actual workspace um, on my videos I keep three typically three windows open I keep like a five minute um, Nasdaq on the left hand side my middle one is the one I'm trading which lately is um, MNQ and I keep that as a range chart that's where I execute my trades then on the right hand side I keep like a five minute um, ES chart just to you know compare what ES and NASDAQ are doing so we'll just set those up and I'll show you what I do and then you guys feel free when you set it up to make changes um, as you see fit for your trading style so first thing we'll do is go up to new and click on chart and this brings up this little window where you, where you can select the instrument. So we'll put MNQ because that's what we're trading at the moment. And we double clicked it. Um, and then you can pre-select like your parameters and like your settings here, but you can also change this, all of these after. Um, this is gonna be our left most window, so I'm going to set it as a five minute chart. And then you can load multiple days. Uh, I'll just keep it as the default. I think I did change my colors. I am colorblind, so it's just easier for me to see these colors a lot better than the default. And then down here at the bottom of this screen, this is kind of important. This shows your trades on that window. So I just use my five minute chart to just see like the overall day and I don't want my trades that I'm making to start cluttering that up. So under plot executions, I say do not plot. Uh, you can also have markers. So it has like the little um, triangle like arrow things to show where your entries and exits were. But then you can also have text and marker and it shows like the price point, I believe, and the little triangles. Again, I don't want any trade showing up on this chart, so I'm going to click Do Not Plot and then click OK. And then NinjaTrader treats everything as like separate windows, so it's going to give us a new window. I'm just going to resize it for my screen, and that looks about good. You can also, down here, real quick, you can add new charts easily. So. In Trade of Eight, I think I had like a day, a five minute, a 15 minute, and a five minute all in one window. I haven't set that up here, but we could easily just add multiple charts to this window. 
but let's finish setting up our windows first and then we will go over the indicators that I use. So we'll add our middle window now where we do our trading. So we'll add a new chart, MNQ, and then we're going to do a range chart with um, the value set to 22. So every 22 ticks, it will print a new bar. I don't really need three days worth of um, data for the range. So I'm just gonna set that to one. And then under trades, I want markers only. I just want the little um, execution triangles. If you put the text on there also, it really gets cluttered quickly. So we will say, okay, then put this chart in the center. And if you click the little F, um, it will just like auto fill this. Um, we're not connected to anything right now, so we're just adding the charts, but we'll do that in a second and then it should load more information in. But let's just add our third chart, the ES. Um, right here, the future. And then this is gonna be a five minute as well. And then I'm not trading this, so we'll just say do not plot. And then that goes on the right side of my screen. With it being different windows, you can really customize how you have your screen to look. You can have you know, whatever you want. All right, so this middle one is where, where we will execute our trades. So you have to turn on Chart Trader, this icon right here. And now it's gonna give you the buy and sell buttons, close, um, and then this is where you would select your account. We're not connected to any data right now, so that's why that's not showing. But if you had multiple accounts, which you should because you're gonna have this default SIM account anyways, so when you come in here, you wanna make sure you select the account that you're ex executing your trades, and you put in your contract size, and then down here is where you can um, set your brackets. Quickly going over that, um, let me just show you my default bracket uh, for like NASDAQ futures. I have a 60 tick stop loss and 80 tick prof take profit. I'm not using any like strategies for like auto break even or anything like that at the moment. If I do use that, we can go over that in like a trading video in the future. Um, but here you can set your um, contract size and I believe um, like if you were trading multiple at a time you can set like if you were trading two contracts at a time you can have different um, brackets for each contract by um, adding another target right here so you would just save that and then you can change the name now let's put on some indicators so up in the top of the window of each chart, you have the little indicators icon. And when you click on that, it's gonna show you all the available indicators that you have on the left-hand side. NinjaTrader offers quite a few, um, but you may find that some are locked behind a paywall. I'm just on an evaluation account through Apex, so I'm not gonna pay any extra to unlock some of these, but like, one in particular that I'm missing is point of control, um, which I use a lot. And at the moment, I'm just keeping an eye on my second monitor with trade of eight to see where that point of control line is. So one of the free ones that I use from Ninja Trader is the volume profile. So we'll add that and I just keep the default settings and click okay and this in my trading videos, you'll see like a histogram on the left-hand side that shows like um, as the price is moving, where the volume is being conducted. And that's what that is, the, the volume profile. I also have a few third-party indicators that I've downloaded. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to like the VWAP and the cumulative delta. But let's just go over on how to do that. So on this website, Trading Revealed is where I got my VWAP bands. Um, 
you just hit download and it will download a zip um, folder. Cumulative Delta was under a website called Ninja Trader Ecosystem. Um, again, we'll just download the zip folder. And I already have these two installed, so I found a third one to download um, for this video so you can see like the full steps. Uh, this one seemed all right. Uh, it says a free packet and it just c contains a handful of free indicators. Um, again, this is on ninjatraderecosystem.com. So I'm going to click here, agree to go doing, go to another website. And then we need the zip folder download. So this one says zip will download whatever language that's in. And now we have those three indicators downloaded. And in our downloads folder, we now have the three indicator zip uh, files. So we need to take those, which I'm just taking this one. We're going to cut it or copy. And I have a, I, I move all these into a folder called Ninja Indicators. It's just under my documents folder. So we'll throw that in here. And then back on Ninja Trader, you can go to Tools, Import, and import a Ninja script add-on. And we will select this last one that I do not have yet installed. Click OK. And I guess that doesn't work with this version of Ninja Trader, so that was a complete waste of time. However, that is how you do it. So I'll just reinstall a Cumulative Delta because that didn't work. So we'll go to import Ninja, Ninja Script add-on Cumulative Delta, click open. Oh, it's saying that it already exists. You won't have that. It will probably like confirm that you want to install it. We'll hit yes. And we're going to replace the files. And there we go. It just asked me several times because it's probably copying multiple folders. Um, Ninja Trader successfully imported all scripts contained in the NinjaScript archive file. So now under, going back under um, indicators, we should have a cumulative delta in here, which I already had anyways. And then we'll add it. So we add it into our configured area. And then you can click apply and OK. And now we have cumulative delta down here. I'm going to do the same thing over on our five minute charts. Bam. So now we have cumulative delta on all three charts and volume profile, which is not showing because we're not connected to anything. Let's go in and connect and see if it shows. So we hit connections and then we connect to the MyRhythmic for Ninja Trader broker brokerage. If it's your first time setting it up and you're using Apex, I highly recommend reading through the instructions first and then going through and setting it up. It is a little confusing because you have to set up the MyRhythmic and then you also have to set up Ninja Trader and enter like um, the certain you know username and password. Just copy and paste and go slow so you set it up correctly. Assuming you do, that connection should show up here and you can click and connect to it. And then um, your accounts will start to show up under the, the chart trader and up in the accounts up in the top. I believe the market is just shut down at the moment. So that's why I probably can't see anything. All right, so now let's add our VWAP bands, which we could have done when we were adding the other indicators. The one I linked in the description shows up as VWAP X. So we will add that. And then once it's added, you can click on it to edit the settings. So here you can set how many standard, how many number of deviations you want and the colors for each one. And like, if you want them uh, down here, you can set like, if you want a dotted line or a, a, a solid line. So we'll just go with, I'm just gonna go with the default for now and we'll hit okay apply and then okay and now you can see the band show up along with v, uh, VWAP. On the five minute charts I don't like the VWAP all the bands to show up I just like VWAP so I'm just gonna add the same indicator but uncheck uh, the standard deviations lines.
I'm gonna change VWAP from black to something that stands out a little better. And we'll make give it two pixels. And we want a solid line. And I don't want any, no deviations. So now we just have VWAP. Now, when you are clicking and dragging on NinjaTrader, it only wants to go left and right. If you hold control on your keyboard, or I'm assuming command on Mac, you can hold that button and then you can click and you can pan it in whichever direction you want. And then just hovering, um, no, you can't hover. And then clicking and dragging on the, the price, um, you can zoom in or out, and then on, uh, along with the time on the bottom. Once you have your workspace set up, highly recommend coming it up to workspaces, hovering over the one you have, and clicking save, just in case something happens and uh, you won't have to redo all that. You can just load it. So, like I have my NQ-ES is my default. I can just click it, and it should pull everything up exactly how I have it set up for my day-to-day -day trading and then every time you go to exit it's going to ask if you want to save any changes to your workspace i just hit yes in case i did change something uh, because obviously i was trading with it like that and um, if i didn't remember that i did have like a chart setting change i could just hit save yes and then that way it's ready to go to the next trading session I don't think that there's anything else as far as setup wise. Um, if I think of anything, we'll just throw it in the comments or the description. Um, but if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I see a few people have signed up with the affiliate link, which is absolutely incredible. I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate that. Um, I didn't that this YouTube channel is doing way better than I could have even imagined. So I really appreciate it. I'm enjoying um, the conversations that we have in the comments after each video. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate the support. So you guys have a good one. I hope this helped and talk to you guys later.